Hello everyone. Once you've signed up, you've confirmed your email, it's going to link you over to your My Maps page. Once you're all signed up, you're going to want to create your first map. And there are two ways to do that. You can start with creating your first map, which it says right here, right in front of you. Just click that yellow text and it will link you to the map creation process. Or you can click create new map here at the left at the top. So just go ahead and click that. Step one is going to make you choose a style that you want to work with. There's a lot of different styles to work with. So Incarnate is very versatile. And you're going to see that there are two versions of each style if you have the free version. Okay. And then there's also a pro version, which I totally recommend that you get. And you can even see the difference between the free and the pro version for Fantasy Battle Maps 2.0. For the free version, there are 682 free assets, while the pro version has 13,522. So you're getting a lot for your dollar by purchasing Pro. It's totally worth it and affordable. Now each style also comes with a little gallery that lets you decide, lets you look at what you can create with the style. So we go through the gallery here and you can see that there are multiple types of maps that you can create. And you'll also notice that there is a purple little icon or vial there. That just means that there's beta content within that style. That's all that that means, okay? Then we also have watercolor cities, watercolor battle maps, fantasy regional HD. There's a parchment world and fantasy world. So lots of different styles that you can choose from. Once you've chosen the map style you want to work with, you'll click that yellow choose map style button. And you'll go to step two, which is your scene settings. The first thing you'll have to decide on is your editing resolution. Now, I just want to mention quickly that this is this is the screen editing resolution. It's not your map's final resolution because you can export your maps with Pro up to 8K. That's a really, that's quite a bit. So another reason to get Pro. If you have free, that's okay. There's also low 1K and medium 2K for your editing resolution, which I totally recommend if you don't have a powerful machine. If you do have a decent machine, you can go with high 3K editing. Or if you have a really powerful machine, ultra 4K is great because the stamps are going to be much crisper and easier to see. There's also an aspect ratio. That's going to be the size of your map. Now, we have four options, including a custom. The first one is landscape, and it's going to be 40 by 30 tiles. What we mean by that is, is that when you open up the map, it's going to be 40 by 30 tiles, as in the built-in grid. Okay. There's also a portrait, which is 30 by 40 tiles, a square, 40 by 40, and of course, customs a custom one that allows you to change the number of rows and columns and that so you can make whatever size that you want. Once you've decided on the editing resolution and the aspect ratio, you'll click that little fancy yellow button right there that says create map and it will put you into the editor. And this we will save for another video.